So now that we've got our cross geometry, um, we can use some of this sub D modeling to our advantage uh, by doing some freeform editing with uh, this output in Rhino. What I'm first going to do is I'm going to do a copy of this guy because I'm kind of happy with the cross geometry that we've got. Um, in fact, I'll move him over here to the side so I can clearly move some things around. So because we have this, um, you know, control over shift control click every time we go into our sub D geometry, we can quite easily just, you know, select a kind of part of the geometry that we want to quickly manipulate. And I'm going to try and select the middle part of my cross geometry here. And what this enables us to do is really quickly kind of just move things around. I'm going to change over to uh, our world plane here. And I'm going to try and create a little bit of a um, almost distorted cross instead. Like we could even potentially try and do a bit of a distortion through rotation and movement here. Uh, so we just get something that's a little bit more dynamic. And, you know, it's really easy for you to control these things by just moving um, or selecting multiple kind of faces and vertices in the sub D and just easily manipulating them. You can even select the edge loops like that. Um, so all of that control immediately gives us, you know, the ability to go from what's a very symmetrical cross to something that's much more dynamic by um, doing a bit of freeform editing and, you know, making the most of these sub D tools in Rhino.